it's finally here. I just got this in the mail, and this is the cheapest 3D printer I could find off of eBay. Alright, let's see what we have here. So there's the filament tube, I don't know what it's called, so keep in mind guys, this is my first 3D printer ever. Uh, there's some filament. Hmm, that should be enough to get started with something, I don't know. There is a memory card and USB reader. Uh, what is this? Oh, huh, it's a user manual. Much better quality of paper than I thought. <laughs> what else? So this is the hotbed. This has to be the frame. All the wires over here. We have all the screws over here. So let me get these out of here. Can you guys see those? I'm sorry about the zoom. Got some springs. A pretty neat little box to organize everything. All right, so. I'm curious what's underneath all of this since this was a pretty thick box. I'm just dumping everything out for now. Here is some sort of wiring harness. Start, stop, who I'm gonna need to have. Well, shoot, I have to heat shrink this stuff to make it a little bit safer. See how they uh, did it for these but not for those? Hmm. And then these have to be the stepper motor wires. Yeah, definitely. I see the uh, three pin control. Here is the power supply. So this is a 12 volt 10 amp brick. That should be pretty good. Power cable and then cable organizer. What is this? Do not touch. This is definitely the heat plate or the heating bed. Yeah, so I'll carefully put this aside over here. There is more foam there. Ah, and there it is. All the servos, the rails. I am really nervous to pick that up without having enough room to set it all down, but let's try it anyway, see what happens. Oh, yeah, that's not nice. Okay, this bracket is loose. Set that up there. Oh, man, this is going to be fun to build. Alright, guys, I'm going to unbox everything and set it all aside and start the assembly. Um, I don't want to mess with this as it is now because I'll break something. Just the way I operate, you know. But, initial impression, eh, for $90, it's pretty thick plexiglass. I mean, it's not an aluminum frame, but we'll see how it goes. Anyways, uh, cue the assembly montage. Montage, 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 whatever. Alright, so, I don't even know how to transition into this nicely but that 3d printer um, did not work it actually melted the extruder nozzle the stepper motor for the feeder didn't work and physically it would not work uh, because the table I think it's the I don't know x-axis I don't know the vertical up and down the one that takes this plate and goes up and down the clearance between uh, the bottom plate right here would actually hit the nozzle up there so it would never be able to fully uh, reach the top and make contact with the nozzle to be able to start extruding I don't know what to do next um, this printer is pretty much just going to be for parts now <sighs> I don't 
don't know what the hell to do with it, to be honest, guys. I didn't even tell you the best part, which is probably why you clicked on this video. When I put the memory card into my computer, it actually came with a Trojan virus or worm. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but I actually started to look it up. And when I did, I, I'll show you guys a screenshot of it. But basically, it's designed to try to steal your information uh, via phishing uh, attempts. So what that means is it'll gather information um, because it intercepts your internet traffic. I don't even know if that's possible anymore with all the HTTPS going on nowadays. Um, but anyways, I'll show you a screenshot right now. Um, and there it is for basically for basically um, the name of the virus or Trojan if you guys know more about it let me know I wouldn't advise you to buy one of these or if you do make sure that you have some other way to get the instructions um, and use your own memory card to transfer files to be printed this thing after looking at it, it's from like 2016 or 17 which kind of sucks now because I didn't know about it, but literally the name is T-Nice. I really couldn't find any information before I bought it, um, which is why I did. There was no videos or anything else about it. Um, this will probably be one of the only videos out there for it. And for this kind, for these acrylic type 3D printers, which suck. Let me give you guys a good view there of their logo. You ready? Bam, right there. Come on. Do not buy unless you want malware. I did reach out to eBay. I'm waiting to hear back from the seller based on their English spelling and their communication times, which is normally morning time in China. Even though it's shipped from a US warehouse, um, yeah, I think it's just out of warehouse. All the supports back in China. I reached out to eBay to find out how to get my money back. Um, I told them I'm not sure that I want to return this to them because what are the odds that they're going to return it, repackage it, even though I broke it, and then send it to somebody else uh, with that malware still included because it was updated. I think it was like 2018 version of that Trojan virus. Here, uh, you saw the screenshot. Um, but other than that, thanks for watching guys, and I, I have a full build video, but it doesn't work at the end, so a little bit disappointed. I had some really good angles, like this. Interesting design. Ooh, that would have been fun. And this. Great, just like a coin spot. But it didn't work because the 3D printing software that's included on that um, on that main board, this one, has to be hooked up to a computer for some reason, which I don't trust anymore. Maybe I'll do another video where I actually run the malware on like a Raspberry Pi or something like that, or some old Windows machine to see what happens something completely offline but that's really disappointing for the ninety dollar ebay printer ninety dollar ebay 3d printer well thanks for watching if you could hit the like button i'd really appreciate it subscribe as well um, and let me know what else to do because i'm out of ideas and i haven't even had that many but i like to be original with them so yeah, thanks guys. Bye bye. Click the like button, notifications, like and subscribe.